Hello, I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain and Gutter, and in today's segment, we're going to replace a sump pump. This sump pump has failed. It's a very small pit, and uh, the setup isn't the greatest, so we're going to replumb it to the wall. First thing you want to do is clean out the pit. Very important to have a nice clean pit so no rocks get into the impeller of the new sump pump. This sump pump in particular uh, is more of a custom sump pump since it's such a small pit. It has a separate float switch that we are going to install. Uh, first thing you want to do is put in the male coupling threaded inch and a half <clears throat> make sure that's in there good and tight and you want to put in an extension make sure you glue that in there real well and uh, we're going to have to put a setup here for the separate sump pump float switch and uh, this is uh, a bit unusual so we've made some custom parts to install and once again we just glue those fittings all together and we have to keep it very close to the sump pump itself so it will fit down in that pit <clears throat> once we put this all together we're going to put that T over our inch and a half extension. It's rather snug. Like I say, this sump pit is small, so it's a tight fit. You want to make sure that you put that T down far enough that you can install your check valve, which goes on the top of that. All right, now once again, we are putting on the float switch. Securing the float switch in place so it'll work. And here's our check valve. You want to make sure those arrows are pointing up. You want to be able to remove the water from the pit and when the sump pump turns off no water will come back down into the pit from the plumbed pipe going out the wall. there you have it. We're going to go ahead and put the sump pump in the pit. Like I said, it's a very small pit. And then you just want to plumb that all, just make sure it's down in there all the way. up to the discharge at the wall. <clears throat> Be sure to glue all your fittings. We're using two 90 degree elbows plus a small section of pipe between the elbows. And uh, in this particular video, it's inch and a half, and going through the wall there, it's only inch and a quarter. So we've put a reducer, no hub, inch and a half to inch and a quarter. And you secure those clamps down tightly. And there you have it. Make sure you check your sump pump operations check that float switch make sure it's working and on this particular sump pump there is power to the pump plus power to the switch do it right the first time watch all our how-to videos I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain and Getter and thank you for watching